Right. Well, now, this is a first. Never done this before, but how exciting is this on the Internet? Okay. This is going to be a recipe for mashed potatoes. What I've been doing for many years and what is in Linda's cookbook on tour. There you go. Right. So, basically, you know how to peel a potato. You don't use a big knife like that. You use a potato peeler. I use a silly little knife like this. So, let's say you're going to peel your spuds and you're going to... Uh, Peel a whole panful like that, and all these cookery programs, as you know, they always say, here's one I prepared earlier. So, I'll get rid of that little bit there, and these, and this will, when it's peeled, in fact, let's peel it, and let's do the real thing. We'll peel this, and then this can go in with these others, what we have prepared earlier. So, you do something like this, you know, cut the work in half. Here we go. You cut it something like that, that kind of size, roughly like that, <laughs> that kind of thing. And you sling them in some boiling water for about 20 minutes. Now, there they are. We've got these on already. You stick a bit of salt in. This is nice organic sea salt. You just have a nice big fistful of that. You sprinkle that in. And those will take about 20 minutes. Now, the thing is, there's some people out there who are brilliant cooks. So, of course, I'm highly embarrassed to be telling you how to do this. So you can just have a laugh. Just sit back and have a laugh. The rest of you who don't know how to cook, like me, will be highly educated by this procedure. Okay, here we go. Here, while we're doing this, 20 minutes, what you do now is you can prepare the onion, which is like a little special touch. Not everybody has onion in mashed potatoes, but this is my little special touch. So here we go. I'm going to just cut round here on the onion, and hopefully this is going to then, this is not how you're supposed to do it probably, but you just pull the outside layer off here, sling the bits, now, to do this, I'm sure there's a very professional way to do this, but I don't know it. So basically, I'll do this like as if I was doing this for myself, which, seeing as there's probably no one watching this program, I am. Okay, so you get your onion, and you try and get it looking vaguely respectable by taking a, some of these outer layers off. You've got it like this, it's looking pretty good now. Just cut that little toppy bit off. Oh, and a funny little bit's appeared in the middle of it. Well, okay, this is only a demonstration, all right? So we're not worried about that. Right, now here's the, here's the little trick. This is the trick, which Linda taught me. It's a brilliant trick, and it goes something like this. You take your onion, and then you cut lines across it like that, see? Straight across it like that, trying not to cut your finger off. All these chefs go a little bit faster than I do. <laughs> this is the slow method. You cut that way once, diddly dirt, then you turn it around and you cut the other way now. So now you've got little squares, little grid system going on the top of this little onion. And the nearer you put these lines, of course, going to be the finer the onion. Then what you do, this is the trick, you turn it on here and you just do that. And look at that. You've got chopped onion. It's all coming away like a miracle. There you go. So there's your chopped onion and that's the little trick. Bet you've never seen that before. Okay, here we go. So that will leave there just for a minute. Put that down. Get me wee cloth and wipe me handies. And uh, here we go. This is getting to be like a series, isn't it, viewers? We could have been doing this for years, really. Okay. Right, so now, the potatoes, you leave, leave the onions here, they're coming later. Potatoes now have been boiling. Well, let's say they've been boiling for 20 minutes. We now take them off, we bring them over here, and you know what, just in case it's a little bit hot, we will get the old glovey on, fetching little love and glove there. Hello, how are you doing? What do you think of the recipe? That's very good. Oh, now stop. Oh, stop it. Glovey. All right. Okay. Right. Here we go. And what you do is you just drain off the excess water into a bowl or, more likely, a sink. So here we go. And we're draining off the water, making sure you, uh, you do this very carefully because if it all falls, you get scalded, which isn't wonderful. I should know. Okay, so that's that. And now we've got these guys. Now these could probably go back on the heat a little bit there, just to dry them off a bit. 
And I'll get rid of that colour by sticking him there. OK. So now, the next bit now. Now that's dried off a bit. We're ready to go. Bring this back to the centre stage. And we get our potato masher. One of these things. And now we just go for it. And we mash the spuds. Give them a good hard mash here. Got a lot here. So take a few minutes normally but I'll just give them I better not do them too roughly because it won't look so good and it won't taste so good but this is what you do you mash all these spuds up like this and uh, get them so there's no lumps nice and fluffy lovely that a little professional touch there right here we go then we take some margarine and uh, non-hydrogenated. That's the trick. It's not good for you, hydrogenated, apparently. And then you take a little bit of this stuff, and you just stick a little knob of that butter in there. And it just depends how naughty you want to be, really, because it tastes better the more you have. But uh, So we'll stick a few knobs of butter in there. How about that many? That looks good to me. You let that melt, which it does, because the potatoes are hot. And then, if you like, you put a little bit of milk in. And this is just semi-skimmed milk. You can do any, use any milk you like. Um, or you can use soy milk. That's very good as well. And then, so even though we put some uh, salt in before, now you put some more salt in. And this is just to taste, really, this bit. So I like them reasonably salty. And you'd be surprised how much salt you can put in. But watch it, because once you put too much in, you've had it. Right, so then... We start whisking this up a bit, and this is sort of dryish. They're looking good though, starting to look good now. And now I'm going to do is put these onions in, last little thing, and then I'm going to put a little bit more milk in. But those onions, the finer you chop them, the better probably. I'm sure you can do it a bit better than me. A little bit more milk, because they're looking a little dry. And then off we go, whisking again. And we're going to taste it. Mmm. Very good. Give it a bit more of this one. Because, um, no laughing, please. This is a serious cooking program. Oh, yeah. It, it tastes good, actually. Okay, here we go. Having tasted it like all the good chefs, having got it well fluffy and doing my little professional knockoff thing there, I'm going to sling a little bit more salt in, just a little bit more flavour. And this sea salt is brilliant stuff, really cool. I'm going to then give that another bit of, uh, what do you call it, whisking. And I don't bother with a professional whisk, a fork is good enough for me. Right, so off we go. And that basically is your mashed potato. That's tasting very good. Now, if you want to get a little bit flash when you serve it up, you can, uh, what can we do? Anyone got a spoon there? Give us that spoon. Thank you very much, spoon man. What you can do then, take it out nice and big and fluffy. Stick it in your dish. And there you go. It's starting to look good. It's smelling good. And uh, I'm not going to let the crew eat it, you know, like they normally do at the end of the show. Let the crew eat it. I'm not. I'm taking it home. I'm having all of that. Not really. But here we go. And then, you just finish it off. You just want to look extra professional here, which I must say I don't normally do. You could just put a little sprinkling of parsley, chopped parsley, on the top. You just put that there. And that is the creation known as mashed potato. There you go. I can hear your applause from here. Thank you very much. I'm got oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's get on with the show. Let's go and do a bit more. <laughs>